I'll do a trick for you that uses four magic moves I discovered a long time ago, like 30 years ago, back when I was nine. All right? I haven't aged well. And uh, they're card moves, but I'll tell you what they are, you know, and you'll see what they do. And that's the cool thing. So uh, the first thing I did was I, I wrote uh, four names on there, the Fab Four. So we've got John going here, Paul here, George a little lower, and Ringo is the low man on the totem pole. Sorry about that, Ringo. But the cards are put in four distinct different parts of the deck, and then they're squared in, and I could cut the cards, I could shuffle the cards. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you know, I should be worried if I have to find the four cards, but I'm not worried. Do I look worried? <laughs> and the reason I'm not worried is I know the four magic moves, and here they are. So the first move looks like this. So I called it the shake. Keep in mind, I was nine. And then the second move looked like that. That's the wave. And then there was the riffle and the snap. So that's it. The shake, the wave, the riffle, and the snap. Now, if you do those in the correct order, the shake always tends to send a card to the left rear pocket. The wave, that sends a card over here. The riffle sends a card to this pocket. I love the riffle. <laughs> and last but not least, the snap. The snap sends a card over here. Now, that's interesting, but it doesn't show you the power of these four magic moves until you realize yourself that in spite of all the cutting, the shuffling and everything, this is in fact John's card. That's Paul's card. That's George's. And that's Ringo's. So there you have it, the power of the four magic moves I discovered 30 years ago back when I was just nine.